You have in Luke 6, 15, and in Acts 1, 3. You have Simon the Zealot, who was a disciple of Christ, and who was among the apostles in the early church. One of the disciples of Christ was definitely a zealot. Second, many scholars believe that Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Christ, was a zealot. Biblical scholars interpret the word Iscariot in the Greek to be a Latinized form of the word Sicaria, which means dagger carrier. So there are many that believe that Judas was a zealot. But that's kind of a weak, weak argument to, to prove that he was a zealot. What's an even stronger argument is his belief and his actions that indicate to me that he was most likely a zealot. Do you remember in the upper room when Christ was with his disciples and they were, they were having the Lord's Supper and the ordinance of humility? In Luke 22, verse 36 and 38, Christ told his disciples, now this is Christ, this is Christ telling his disciples to do something. He tells them, he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. So they said, Lord, here are two swords. And he said to them, it is enough. The disciples in the upper room had two swords with them at the time. Now, we know that Simon the Zealot had a sword. We know that Peter, Simon Peter, had a sword because he used it in the Garden of Gethsemane later on. We're not sure if Judas left the room before that time or not. If he would have been there, he would have had a sword. That would have made three swords instead of two. That means one-fourth of the disciples of Christ.